everybody, it's the Doll Circle, and I have a new Ever After High doll to open with you guys today. I was lucky enough to get this on a recent toy hut with Claudina 9, and there are two other ones in the series. This is the Picnic line by Ever After High, and there's also Raven and Cerise. I chose Blondie because I really like how sweet she looked. Like, the other dolls were really, really gorgeous, and I'm probably eventually going to get them, but for some reason, she stood out the most to me. She was only $15, and I got her from a local toy store called A to Z Toys. And they had a lot of new, I mean, like, really new toys. So when I saw this, I was like, I have to get it. And it was such a good deal, too, for $15. Bucks. Now, she has a slim box doll. Um, I don't think it comes with a stand, so I'm really excited to open it up and see if it does come with one, because I don't think it does. Uh, really cute, though. Very simple looking. Short little dress. You know, I mean, really simple box, because it is a slim box. I like the coloring of the, they didn't just do blue and yellow, but they added like a really pretty like green grass color, as if they're going on a picnic. And I'm going to show you guys the back. That's obviously a picture of her in her sketch form, has the other two dolls in the bottom to kind of give you guys an idea of what they're uh, kind of looking like without giving them a full body shot of like what it looks like. And I like all the little pictures around her, it's like, hey, you can get, you know, like, we take carrots and cupcakes to a picnic, which of course I would definitely take to a picnic. And then looking at the background, I'm going to flip it up around one more time, you can see that she's got like the background of a picnic, like the picnic blanket and the little basket in the back. So I think it's really, really cute. I love the overall packaging of it and I love how sweet she looks on the back. I just think she looks so adorable, just like playing with her hair and just really cute. So I'm ready to take her out of the box. I don't have all of the blondies from all, like, you know, all the ones that are released, but I do have the first wave here that I want to do a little comparison to see if they changed her face since the original blondie. So let's take her out. Okay, so I got her out of the package, and there is no stand and no brush. Kind of like it was in the Mirror Beach line, where it was a slim box and they don't come with too much. Now, overall, this is the second time I've experienced this with the slim box dolls. I'm just borrowing a stand off of another doll. Like, I don't know if you can see, like, her limbs are kind of wobbly and loose. And my Ashland from the Mirror Beach line was also that way. So I don't know if maybe they know the line's going to be cheaper and maybe they cheapen them. Because, I mean, she feels overall not as sturdy as the more expensive Ever After High dolls. Again, it could just be a little fluke, but that's something I noticed right away. Overall, I love her dress. I mean, the dress is so simple, but so cute. Because if you look really close, there's little teddy bears floating all around it. And I love the pastel yellow that they went with instead of going with a really abrasive gold. And her purse is a teddy bear. Like, it doesn't open, but it's a Baskin woven print. And it actually is a teddy bear. Like, honestly, it was so, oh, so, so cute. Now, her shoes are pretty simple, just black, but at least it does have some type of design on it. Like there's ruffles and a bow, and then the uh, heel is supposed to be kind of like a brick almost, possibly a building I'm guessing of some sort. I don't know. I Comment, what do you guys think about that? Now comparing her to the original, and this is the original, this is not a the re-release of the original, because I bought it like literally right when it came out over a year ago now, and she is noticeably paler, isn't she? Yeah, she's a lot paler, and I, obviously her eyes are a different shape, and I think she has a more, like, round, like a rounder face mold. I don't know, yeah, she just looks Her face different. mold looks different. Like yeah. her head, maybe, like her head looks a little slightly bigger, and not as wide as the other one, and it could be just because she has bangs. Optical on the original, illusion, yeah. Think, maybe. So, you know, like, they also did release the throne coming, which I have, but she's in a box, so kind of hard to show you guys. And I never bought the picnic release one, so I can't compare with those two, but I just want to give you guys a look from when she first was released to does what we see now. Does she have teddy bears on her original dress, too? It mm -hmm. looks like it. Yeah, there's teddy bears in the middle. Oh, okay. As a comparison. This doll I never reviewed because this was... Right before I think we started doing the YouTube channel, maybe we did it and I just never reviewed her. One of the two. Now, the only disappointment with this cute headband. Um, also, this doll had more of like highlights of a dark yellow with the light yellow. This one's just all bright yellow. So, difference in the hair. Now, the biggest disappointment, besides the loose limbs on this doll, which when I took her out of the box, at first I thought I'd cut her hair. I'll show you guys what is going on. <laughs> Hashtag what with lots of exclamation marks after that. Like, super short, kind of weird, curly, and a ton of gel. Like, like I could probably, like, do you hear that? It's hard. Like, it's stiff. Like, it's not even cute. What, like, what, why? Like, I don't get this. And then, there, and then she has a bang. Look at this. A bang here held back by her headband. Like, I'm not good at redoing doll hair, but this doll is, like, beyond. Like, this needs help. Like, this, cute, fluffy, full of hair. 
what? What is this? Like, I don't even know. Like, do you see, like, this nest over here? Like, I don't know what they're doing. And then I was like, well, maybe she has, like, an asymmetrical cut. She's trying to be a little edgy. And then here's the box. That is not close to this. <laughs> so again, it could be a fluke. Maybe she has loose limbs. Maybe you got some funky hair or something like that. So if you guys open this doll and have the same issue, let me know because this is gorgeous. That is not gorgeous. She's got a tail coming out of her head. <laughs> so I'm really unhappy with the overall hair. And I mean, oh, I mean, again, her face shape, I personally like the newer versus the old, and I kind of like the more fair skin a little bit. I think it just suits her better, and the dress is really cute. But what is up with the hair? <laughs> I mean, like, this is just, like, I honestly, I don't want to have to do this. I'm going to chop her hair off, I think. I, that's, I know it's a bold move, because it may come out really terrible, and then I'm going to be really sad, and then I'm going to have to buy another one, because I'll be messing her up. But I'm going to have to do something with this. So let me know what you guys think. Should I cut her hair? I think I'm going to cut her hair. I'm not happy with it. But her makeup's pretty. She has this beautiful blue eyeshadow versus the original where she went more with like a nude look. And then her lips are really pretty uh, pink versus more of a nude color with the original. And one thing I did notice now is original had one big bow. This one has multiple little bows, but in the same color headband. So it's like they're kind of like taking something from before and revamping it for something new. So I wonder, like, I know Claudina9 bought the Cerise picnic one on the same day that I did, so I can't wait to see his review on it to see if maybe, is she not, like, are these just, like, cheap <laughs> quality? So let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm kind of hesitant now to buy the rest. Maybe I'll buy Raven because, like, that's my girl, but we'll see. So comment, let me know what you guys think of the new uh, Blondie Locks doll. I am really upset about this hair. As always, check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And like I said, comment. What do you guys want to see more of? Um, I know there's a lot more of our After High stuff coming out. I'm probably going to have to buy all of them to review and share with you guys. As always, join our circle and subscribe. Bye, guys.